Two check one two.
I'm gonna do it again, but I'm not gonna make you keep doing it if nobody's here. Right? What? It just sounds really weird. Hey, you are on. We have the you saw that. Okay. I didn't. I didn't see. We're gonna start. Hey, we're gonna start back at the top. When? Okay. Uh, soonish. Like I don't know. Next two minutes. But I wasn't. I can see them. But I wasn't gonna. I just wasn't gonna make you keep doing it if nobody was here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, they usually follow right away. Okay. Take two. Same thing from the top, same way as before. Okay. Thank you. 
Does, does Kayla know to go, guys? Oh, it's the first thing around. They do that and then John, you ready? Yep. Go. I guess.
this is it's it's more mines and levies and mines and Good evening. My name is Chelsea Kristoff, and the name of my speech is This Too Shall Pass. On behalf of the entire class of 2021, I thank you all for coming out tonight in celebration of each of us making it through a difficult yet memorable year. And despite the breadth and scope of this year's circumstances, let's not be fooled. We can all agree that every year in our lives has been a challenging one. I can say with certainty that my classmates and I have struggled at some point throughout our high school careers, whether it be socially, academically, or in some other way. 
it can often be overwhelming attempting to complete copious amounts of work while balancing your social life, family time, job, sports, and any other obligations that come with life. And despite the abundance of joy and freedom that seems to come with adulthood, let's be realistic. Life could quite possibly get even more stressful as we approach this foreign journey, which comes with an entirely new range of obligations, problems, and difficulties. But high school has also united us as a class and provided a foundation for making that journey an exciting and joyful next chapter. We've learned more about ourselves and others than we ever have before. And seemingly with the snap of a finger, or in this case, a walk across the stage, all of those exciting moments will have shifted from our present to our past. Everyone, please take a moment and reflect back on this year. When faced with a challenge, how did you persevere? How did you cope? Did you take a trip to the gym, spend time with family, listen to music, practice your favorite hobby, or did you simply unwind, relax, and see how long you could go without thinking about whatever it is that kept you up at night? Not every problem is as solvable as another, but there's something that often helps me combat most of the difficulties that arise throughout life. It's a phrase that my dad has always said to me any time that I have felt that a mere inconvenience was a more permanent issue. For instance, any time I found myself venting to my dad about the seemingly endless amounts of work that I had to complete, he would say to me, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. How simple yet meaningful a phrase can be. In that moment, the quote seemed like nothing more than a few simple words, and after more intense reflection, it was exactly that. But Despite its simplicity, it is profound and, in my opinion, a set of words that everyone should live by. If I may, I'd like to ask that you all take a moment and think about an issue that you've had in the past. Where is that issue now? Is it holding you back like you thought it would? What good did all that worrying actually do? Each of us has far more things to be grateful for than to stress about. Life is full of positives, and it's easy to let those positives be masked by a few negative points. But we must not dwell on things when there's so much good sitting right in front of us. Not every setback can be mended instantly. We often see minor inconveniences as much more than they actually are. But the truth is that most of the time, our struggles turn out to be not much more than just minor setbacks. Perhaps it may not feel like that at the moment, but one important thing to consider when faced with an unsettling scenario is this. How will this affect me long term? What will this look like later in life? Oftentimes, there is one answer to each of these questions, and those answers are simply, it won't, and it doesn't matter. It's human nature to subconsciously dedicate time to dwelling on things that may knock us down a peg or two. But how much time are we actually losing by dedicating it to something out of our control? How much time is passing by as we stress about things that don't need to be stressed about? Too much, far too much. Our time is limited and we must practice putting it to good use instead of putting it to waste. This too shall pass is a moving and inspirational quote that we should all consider following in our lives. Of course, there is a flip side to the phrase that is often forgotten about, or perhaps barely even recognized. That flip side is the acceptance that all good things must come to an end. Recall a moment in your life where you thought to yourself, I don't want this to be over. Some of you might be thinking this right now. Well, it is, or it will be. After tonight, this ceremony will last in our heads for a few days, then become a nostalgic memory in our minds. We only remember a fraction of our lives, and although we wish to preserve all the good memories and disregard the bad, we can't direct every scene in our story as much as we'd like to. It's a reality that we all need to leave with tonight as we venture out into the real world. A lot of life is uncontrollable. Though we hold on to things with good intentions, it's best to make the most of life at all times so that we don't find ourselves in that situation wishing there was more. Work towards living life with no regrets. We all have them. 
Dedicate yourself to making life the best it can possibly be. Life is full of highs and lows. In fact, that's what makes life, well, life. Life is rewarding and beautiful, but it can also be difficult and stressful. Its events are often inevitable. We can't pick and choose how things happen, and we certainly can't press the rewind button. We must stop wasting time worrying about things that are not in our control. But worrying is natural. How do we take something like that and make it productive? Well, we just work on ourselves. Bring the best version of, it, of yourself to each unique opportunity. Enjoy life with as little regret or doubt as possible. Practice that best version of yourself for the people that you love. As we begin this mindful journey tonight, I encourage you to go home and hug your family or hug anyone that you see as family. Show them how appreciative you are because as we now know, this too shall pass. You may be wondering how I plan to do my part. So here's my small part for tonight. To my friends, thank you for sticking by my side. Life would be dull without you. To my teachers, thank you for always believing in me. To my family and loved ones, thank you for making me whole. I am beyond blessed to have multiple people that continue to check up on me as, and ensure that I am well. You are considered lucky if you can even find one. Upon preparing my speech for tonight, I wanted to react to an idea that was simple yet meaningful enough that this audience would be able to apply it to their own lives. After all, if the last year has taught us anything, it's that life is unpredictable and we must be prepared and thoughtful about the future as we spend our last few minutes here as a class of 2021. I'd like to conclude my speech by addressing my classmates directly. Our many years of schooling together are finally coming to an end. It's bittersweet. I wish each and every one of you the best possible scenario as we go our separate ways. Be proud of you. Be proud of us. Congratulations to the class of 2021. But remember, this is just the beginning, and this too shall pass. An infinite amount of opportunities and obstacles are waiting for us. Go tackle them. Thank you. I would now like to present my fellow at-large speaker, Evie Blatstein. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Once again, I'm Evie Blatstein, and I'll be giving our class's second at-large speech titled, Go Together. There's an African proverb that goes as follows. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. When I think about what we have accomplished here at Burl High School, when I am asked about how the senior class made its way through the trials and tribulations posed by the pandemic, the bitter partisanship of national elections, and confronting ongoing injustices and discrimination, my answer is that we did it together. Though it may feel as if we were separated by the screens and masks, we were really being brought closer together than any year before. This year has forced us to get creative, creative with how we learned, with how we were taught, how to ensure we had the best senior year possible. Togetherness is an indispensable and undeniable aspect of our life. It encourages us to care for each other, creates a sense of belonging, and most importantly, unites us. This year at Burrell High School, this senior class more than embodied the spirit of togetherness, and I could not be more proud to call you my peers. In order to truly get an understanding of how we've grown together, it's important to reflect back on how and why. It starts with all those ordinary high school days we shared, as inconsequential as they may seem. They were the foundation that consolidated us as everything inevitably changed. Who would have known that before we all knew it, each of us had a predilection for those humdrum days we used to abhor? 
This shared reminiscence gave headway to what we would soon accomplish together as seniors. Now, I could enumerate all the instances of us working together as a class, but I would rather focus on the results we achieved by doing so. In spite of it all, we persevered and managed to restore some normalcy in our last year here. We got our football games, wrestling and basketball and track seasons, a homecoming, band concerts, a musical, a prom, and most importantly, our graduation. Our fervent approach to these endeavors influenced the district and in turn, our community. This sense of togetherness stemmed far beyond the walls of Burrell High School and reached the town. And I want it to be known that the support and that feeling of security do not go unnoticed or unappreciated. It is what makes this town unique and this school exceptional. The lesson of togetherness and collaboration we learned here is a lesson we will carry with us far into our future. This togetherness is not limited to a front against a pandemic or getting us through our last year of high school, but rather extends into all aspects of our lives. When we're no longer together at Burrell, the school or the town, it is up to us to create a new sense of community and togetherness wherever we are. By doing this, we bring Burrell with us wherever we go. We will never truly leave it behind. It is part of us and it is home. If I've learned anything, it is that no one can accomplish anything alone. And why would you want to? Collaboration is a tool that is meant to take you far and something I believe is necessary for success. We made it through four years of high school and we did it together. We walked in the doors on our first day of freshman year together and soon we're going to walk off this field for the last time together. Being together at BHS is an experience we've probably all taken for granted at one point or another. But as this year came to an end, I believe we came together in another more intimate way. Emotionally, whether we believe it or not, we're connected. It is difficult to discern every emotion we are feeling, but there is an unspoken understanding between us all. That is because we are all sharing the same experience, and along with that, the same sentiments that come with graduating. This year was anything but ordinary and arguably the most memorable year we have had thus far. Someday, when people are talking about what they did during the pandemic, we will say, I graduated from high school. That is something we will carry with us forever and shape our view of the world as something that is meant to be taken on together. We learn to adapt, to overcome, to grow, to appreciate each other and our school. So class of 2021, go far. In whatever sense it may be, go together. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our class's valedictorian, Amber Bigler. Huh. Thank you for the introduction, Evie. Hello, my name is Amber Bigler, and I am proud to stand here and represent the Burrell High School class of 2021 as its valedictorian. Whew. Before I get started, I want to take this moment to thank all the faculty and staff who made this day possible. Without your dedication, many of us would not be where we are today. Having said this, let us reflect back on the last 13 years of our educational career. The year is 2008, and incoming kindergartners sit anxiously awaiting their orientation. Everyone is dressed in their best Gymboree attire as twinkle toe shoes light up the room. As these young new students look around, they see many unfamiliar faces, all of them unaware that these faces will soon, be a, will soon have a significant impact on their lives for the next 13 years. As these kindergartners get dismissed from their seats, they are allowed to ride the big yellow school bus for the first time. The journey Noah's school has begun and the number 21 has marked these kids. 
Over the following years, children learn how to read, spell, tie their shoes, and draw the 3D letter S. All of the essential life lessons. As time continues, the children begin to get comfortable with these once unfamiliar faces. With new ones joining along the way, especially with the merge of Bonaire and Stewart in 2011, the children began to grow up to four, maybe even five feet tall to reach the exciting time known as the fifth grade farewell. The number 21 has, is yet again plastered across the halls. Everyone may now be more familiar with the number, but the year 2021 still seems unreal and futuristic. Middle school comes and goes with many changes along the way. No one could have pre prepared these kids for that journey. In 2017, all the kids celebrate again, this time their eighth grade celebration. Everyone once again shows up in their best attire. By now, Jimbery clothes are traded for Air Pastel and American Eagle, and braces are all the rage. Once again, the children who are now teenagers are reminded of the 2021 date, which seems light years away. After all, the journey known as high school is just beginning. The next three years continue with exciting events like playoff games, state championships, school dances, pep rallies, etc. As these young adults work their way through the ranks of freshman, sophomore, and junior, the number 2021 continuously looms overhead. Our recap now brings us to this year. As these students became more aware of this number than ever, they finished their unconventional last year with many exceptional achievements and did not have to pay for parking passes. Despite the circumstances, homecoming was a huge success. Nick Clue and Savannah Fabic were named homecoming king and queen, which I would like to think was partially thanks to the marketing team of Hannah Morrow and myself. <laughs> As the year went on, every team representing the name of Burl Bucks had a successful season with a special congratulations to the wrestling team for finishing third in the state and the girls track team for winning the section for the fourth consecutive year. AJ Corrado, Ian Oswald, and the boys on the track team, including Ian Smola, Ryan Werzer, Jake Greeny, and Braden Kellen, also need to be named for their achievement at state this year. While this was happening, the theater department pulled off, pulled off the exciting productions of Fantastic Mr. Fox and Little Women that showcased the talent here at Borough High School. The magical night as known as prom was made possible by many parents and the junior senior celebration was a hit. Now, as these teenagers finish the last events of high school, it brings us to today, June 10th, 2021. After all these years of anticipation, graduation day has finally come. A day that seems so far out of reach for so long. But as the late American novelist Gloria Naylor once said, time is a funny thing. I was always puzzled with the way a single day could stretch itself out to the point of eternity in your mind, all while years melt down into a fraction of a second. Looking back on our past years, I think we can all see the validity of this statement. I, for one, sat here as a freshman and sophomore, watching my brothers graduate, thinking that would never be me in their shoes. But at least my parents saved the best bigler for last. <laughs> As children and teenagers, we were constantly chased by the number 2021, but it has finally caught us. As the chase ended, I became aware of what that unreal futuristic number represents for our class. The year 20. 2021 will always symbolize our journey and time spent together. It will forever be our connection to one another. The once unfamiliar faces became our friends and the young, innocent children described are now adults beginning to go their separate ways. 
As we look back at not only this year, but the last 13 years, I think we can all agree that the time is precious. The anticipation, of a big, the anticipation of a big event may take forever, but that moment will be gone in the blink of an eye. Time will forever be a funny thing, but what defines your journey is how you make the most of the time you have. And last but not least, I have one more thing to share. I will not be going into the medical field. Therefore, Mr. Reddick, you hopefully will be safe if you have any surgical needs because you will not wake up to see my face over you in the operating room. <laughs> However, I cannot guarantee you that someone from this class won't be in that position instead. Congratulations to the class of 2021. And as my tennis team has always said, game over. <laughs> I'll try again. Here we go. Good evening. <laughs> it's my sincerest honor to be here today honoring the accomplishment of the class of 2021. Congratulations. As your high school years come to a close, I'd like to announce the future plans of our class. 62% plan to attend a four-year post-secondary program. Seventeen percent plan to enter the workforce. One percent plans to serve our country and is listing in the military. <clears throat> and seven percent are still undecided. And most importantly, one hundred percent have completed a school year filled with never before seen challenges and struggles, culminating in this graduation. Uh, graduation. So, congratulations on that. Throughout this spring, many of our graduates have been recognized at various events and banquets, most recently at the Borough High School Senior Scholarship Award Program. A full listing of the awards recipients can be found in the commencement program. At this time, I ask the students that were recognized at these events to please stand. These students accounted for a total of $309,039 in scholarships for 2021-2022 and a grand total of $1,239,622 for the next four years. Congratulations, well done. And finally, I wanna congratulate each and every graduate on the first of many milestones in your life it's been a unique privilege to have watched you grow from young five-year-olds excited to take on school to young adults ready to take on the world. It's been an absolute privilege to have been part of your educational experience, and I wish you success as you start your life's journey. Thank you. Good evening. On behalf of the entire Borough School District, I'd like to welcome all of you to a very special commencement for the class of 2021. Before I begin, I would like to recognize, commend, and thank each one of the district's employees and members of the Borough School District Board of Education. The 2021 school year has been and continues to be unique and challenging in so many ways. And there's truly been a team effort. Remember, in any tough situation, we is always greater than me. Class of 2021. I'm gonna first begin by saying thank you 
Thank you for sharing all the delightful hot dogs with us at Victory Circle last Friday. <laughs> they say that it's the gift, it's not the gift that matters, it's the thought behind it. Could not thank you enough. Mrs. Wagner is also very proud of your artwork and people say there was a learning loss. I beg to differ, I beg to differ. <laughs> On a serious note, we do want to spend, or send, excuse me, a special congratulations on behalf of all of us here this evening. It's such an honor to have you all together for one last time. The last 15 months have been tough and you continue to respond with resilience, humor, and pride. This is not the for first nor the last challenge you will face in life. If you've not noticed, life is really hard. Every day we face obstacles and how we view and navigate those obstacles often determines the path we lead. Graduates, no matter where life takes you, adversity will surface. You have the choice of being a victim to that adversity or using it to grow and develop as a person. You will encounter all kinds of people, all types of situations, and how you respond to these determine the kind of person you are and ultimately become. A very wise assistant principal at our high school shared the following poem with me last week, and I believe it deserves repeating. Dr. Wagner, our superintendent, shared the same poem with our staff earlier today. The poem is titled The Dash. It's by Linda Ellis, who first wrote this poem in 1996. It reads as follows. I read of a man who stood to speak at a funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said what mattered the most of all was the dash between those years. For the dash represents all the time they've spent alive on earth. And now only those who love them know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live in love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left. It can still be rearranged. To be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. We treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that the special dash might only last for a short while. So when your eulogy is read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you lived your dash? Class of 2021, I challenge you on how you're going to live your life during the dash. You've only lived a small portion of it to this point, and ultimately you determine the rest of it with daily decisions, the mindset you bring to those decisions, and with those who are there for you and support. Please trust in your skills and abilities. In a world that is comprised with so much anger and uncertainty, please be a beacon of light for those who may need you. For we cannot go through life alone. I challenge you to be a mentor, be a friend, and most importantly, be kind. Remember, it's not what you say to others that matters. It's actually not what you do for others, but more so how you made the person feel that really matters. As future leaders, excuse me, in our changing society, you have the power to make an impact, challenge the status quo, and look at adversity as opportunity. Show strength in your character, and remember, your character is always something you demonstrate when no one else is looking. It's our hope that we have provided you with a safe place so you could fail at things. Remember, failure is something that naturally happens when we are growing. Although dealing with adversity is not a comfortable time in our lives, it can be the most crucial. Embrace the discomfort. I repeat, embrace the discomfort. As I say to my two kids, it's okay to be uncomfortable. I know that each one of you at some point, whether it be this year or in the past, has battled through some type of personal or individual struggle. This struggle and 